Hi there, and welcome back to Dare to Call Him Friend. And today I'm going to skip a couple of chapters in the book because I really felt that on, uh, today is October the 15th, 2019. And if you're watching this later, this doesn't mean that this doesn't apply to your situation now. But I felt I needed to skip because I felt that there were some people who I know are watching this series who are going through a huge struggle right now and i can feel the heaviness i can feel that weight and i can feel the hopelessness and i wanted to let you know that jesus is your big brother in all sense of the word and in the book the title is my big brother and today i'm going to be reading a lot from the book because I really want to get this right. One sleepless night, in the middle of the night, I curled up on my sofa. Several personal issues sprang up all at the same time, and I felt exactly how I did when I was a little girl and I was being bullied in the schoolyard. I was boxed in by some unsettling medical news. I had financial strain. There were family difficulties. There were some strained relationships with friends and there were ministry concerns. I tried my best to stand against the foe because that's what I thought I had to do. But frankly, I was tired of being a target of the enemy's pokes and prods and taunts. My feeble attempts to fight back did nothing but bring further discouragement and deeper exhaustion. I felt alone and vulnerable, and I was. As my mind wandered that night, though, memories of my older biological brother came to mind. I remembered him coming to my defense on more than one occasion. Although he was a victim of the same schoolyard bullies, he often stepped between me and my tormentors. There was no way they were going to get to me without going through him first. I tucked my quilt around me and stared into my mug of tea. I wasn't quite catching the Lord's drift yet. It'd be nice to have such a protector again. Sometimes being single is hard. Two are always stronger than one. I settled back into silence. I gradually became aware of the worship music that had been playing all along in the background. And when one particular song began, I began to declare the goodness of God as I sang along. My mind wasn't engaged, but my spirit was. I was reminding myself of his unchanging truth. Gradually, oh, so gradually, I felt the darkness lift a little bit that night as the Lord's presence filled the room. It wasn't like he came in with all the answers and everything fell into place. No, but in that moment, there was a profound sense in my spirit, although my emotions were not engaged, that Jesus walked into the room. I want to read the next paragraph to you but I'd like you to shut your eyes and take this as if you wrote it yourself, because th this truth is just as much your truth as it is my truth, because it's not about us, it's about Jesus. The Lord is my older brother. He is my advocate, my defender, and my savior. His robes of righteousness keep me safe. The enemy cannot get to me as long as I stay in my big brother's strong, warm embrace, those robes of righteousness. The Lord goes to war on my behalf, and I learned by his example in Isaiah 53 how to face the tormentors in my life. I do so with the knowledge that he'll always have my back. Jesus faced his tormentors by himself, but my big brother goes with me. There are times, yes, that the Lord calls me to the front lines to do spiritual warfare, if you'd like to call it that, 
But there are also times that Jesus draws me back to lean against him for restoration, healing, and recovery. When I trust him, he can confront the enemy of my soul. If I stay steadfast and resist the temptation to try to stir the pot and to try to get things to fall in line the way that I think that they should, he will lead me to victory. I just need to step aside and let him be the one who fights my battles. Romans 8 verse 37 to 39. Picture yourself with the robes of righteousness around you like Jesus is inviting you to lean against him. Your back is against his chest and his arms fully robed are wrapped around you, keeping you safe. In all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am sure that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor rulers, nor things present, what's happening right now, nor things to come that we have no control over, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus, our Lord.